The authorization for a second booster came from the FDA today, and it comes as the CDC estimates the Omicron subvariant BA2 is now the dominant strain in new cases. Even though cases across the country are down significantly since January, some doctors are worried about what may be ahead. CBS 2's Christina Fan live tonight in Hell's Kitchen with the details. Christina. Maurice Christine, more than 34 million Americans are now eligible for a second booster shot, and doctors are encouraging a portion of that eligible population to get the shot now, warning that a spring surge may be around the corner. Older New Yorkers seem on the fence about getting a fourth COVID shot, now available to people 50 years and older. I think it's too much. I just do what they say. I, I, I'm not sick, but I'm over 65. Cases in the U.S. have been steadily declining, but the FDA says there's evidence waning protection is leading to serious outcomes among this vulnerable group. The agency authorized a second booster of the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine for the age group as early as four months after their first booster. The question is, should everyone who is eligible rush to get it? I would recommend that in particular those over the age of 65 and those who have serious immunocompromising conditions. Dr. Edward Telzak is an infectious disease specialist with St. Barnabas Hospital. He's worried a new Omicron subvariant known as BA2 could lead to a spring surge. The variant has already caused a worrisome jump in infections in Europe and China and now accounts for the majority of new cases in the U.S. This variant, BA2, uh, appears to be more transmissible than BA1, which in turn was more transmissible than Delta. At the same time, masks are going away, social distancing is going away. So far, only Americans with compromised immune systems have been eligible to receive a fourth shot. The FDA says its decision was based on data from health authorities in Israel showing no new safety concerns after a fourth dose. And both Moderna and Pfizer are also pursuing new versions of the vaccine that would target specific variants. They are hopeful those new vaccines will roll out by later this year. Reporting live from Hell's Kitchen, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. All right, Christina.